Good morning. I hope you're ready for today's English lesson. Good morning. Absolutely, I'm excited to learn something new. What are we going to talk about today? Today, we'll be exploring the fascinating world of colors and their names in English. Colors play a significant role in our lives, so it's essential to familiarize ourselves with their names. Let's start with the basics. Can you name a few colors? Sure. How about red, blue, and yellow? Those are the primary colors, right? Excellent start. Red, blue, and yellow are indeed the primary colors. They are the foundation for all other colors. Now, let's move on to some secondary colors. Can you think of any? I think secondary colors are created by mixing the primary colors. So, if I mix red and blue, I'll get purple. Mixing blue and yellow gives green, and mixing red and yellow creates orange. Is that correct? Spot on. You've got it. Purple, green, and orange are indeed the secondary colors. They're formed by blending the primary colors in different combinations. That's fascinating. So, besides the primary and secondary colors, are there any other colors that we should know? Absolutely. There are countless other colors in the spectrum. Let's go through a few more. How about black, white, and gray? They may not be as vibrant as the primary and secondary colors, but they're equally important. Right, black, white, and gray are often considered neutral colors. They can add depth and balance to other colors in a design or an outfit. You're absolutely right. Neutrals are versatile and can create various moods depending on how they're used. Now, let's explore some more vibrant colors. Have you heard of colors like pink, purple, turquoise, or lavender? Yes, I've heard of those colors. Pink is often associated with femininity, while purple can represent royalty. Turquoise reminds me of the ocean, and lavender is a calming color. Great job! You've described them beautifully. Colors can evoke different emotions and have symbolic meanings as well. It's fascinating how they can impact our perception and mood. It truly is. I've always been intrigued by how colors can influence our feelings and thoughts. I'm looking forward to learning even more about them. There's so much more to explore. In our future lessons, we'll delve deeper into shades, tints, and tones of colors, as well as color combinations and their cultural significance. It's going to be an exciting journey. I can't wait. This topic is already captivating, and I'm eager to learn more. Thank you for guiding me through it. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to be your guide. Now, let's dive deeper into the world of colors and continue our English lesson.